Hey guys K Level here. This video is part 3 of the Roadmap to Success series. Check out part 1 and 2 in the description. Thank you. Yeah, we haven't really talked about Discord itself. Maybe maybe now is the time. What do you think? Uh, not just Discord of course, but like the managing the following that you have so far mm -hmm. and making sure that everyone is really with you. This is step number nine. And honestly, I feel like this is one of the hardest steps because putting on a show is one thing. Posting content is one thing. But really managing people <laughs> that support you and yeah. making sure that, you know, they you are really this like part of their lives and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they always have a little bit of you with them at all times. I feel like this is super, super hard. So, yeah. I think the most important thing about it is that you feel comfortable with the people that are there. And if there's people that you don't feel comfortable be with, ban them, get them out. Because True. like the thing is, if you keep those people in and there, there's going to be more of those people and it's going to, it's going to overwhelm you. And eventually you can't ban them anymore because they're all there. Like you can't start banning hundred people all of a sudden. That's weird. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to get this toxic community or at least the, the community that you don't like. And you can't do anything about it yet. Well, anymore. But you can at the start when there's just a couple of those people coming in your stream. Absolutely. Your I feel like um, something that I say a lot is that you're going to end up saying, well, I can't control all of my viewers. No, but you can't start. That's, that's where it starts, basically. If yeah. you don't control, in, control them when you're starting to build your community, uh, you're going to regret it, basically. You're going to feel yeah. like you, you're the one who lets it get out of hand. I feel like mm -hmm. it's important to let people know how, like, your own values so that how they act, how they interact in your name basically reflects that, basically. So and it, can, it can be even little things. Like, um, if I'm in a voice chat and somebody will burp, I would say, like, pardon? If they don't say pardon, pardon me myself, and then like they say, oh, pardon me. And, but like then they know that it's not okay to just yeah. burp there and, you know, like, look at me. I'm a cool dude. I'm burping. <laughs> yeah. like, Definitely. I don't, I don't tolerate that kind of, uh, you know. I agree. And like, the, the, but me telling that, like, they don't going to do all that kind of things because like the next thing, they will be farting. <laughs> <laughs> that, and then, like, those are the best you know, examples like, the new person that comes in thinks like oh it's cool to fart here and then like before you know you've got a community in voice chat with a lot of people that are farting and you don't want them <laughs> so, that is I, I'm, I love that you, you give that specific example because <laughs> it, it works actually you're, you're right it's just you, it, it avoids things getting out of hand um, I've known streamers who kind of, you know, when you're a small streamer, you want to let everything go because you, you're so attached to having the viewer. Yeah. So whatever obnoxious thing the viewer tells to you, you, you want to kind of be like, oh, well, I don't know. And you're, you're a little shy. It's, it's, I understand that, but you need to, you need to, you know, put your foot down mm -hmm. and let people know that you run the show and this is your yeah. Twitch channel and this is your community and people who are not like, you know the way the way that you want your community to be they they can either change their behavior yeah. or leave or go, or go find yeah. another stream where their uh, behavior is welcome definitely mm -hmm. manage that and let people know that you know you are in charge and basically be in charge that's the that's the big advice here yeah. um if you're gonna create like a, a discord server same thing make make very put very clear here. rules <laughs> <laughs> don't let people burp like <laughs> it's <laughs> I think one of the best like the best qualities that I have developed because you know I'm not natural I, I definitely wasn't like that before streaming mm -hmm. is the ability to call out people on the spot if someone yeah. does something that makes me uncomfortable I will tell them on the spot if someone is is getting a little too agitated in my chat and I feel like it's you know it's going out of control I will call them out on the spot and tell them hey um i want you to you know cool down or or yeah. leave basically or don't make me make you leave because <laughs> you have this ability you can, you have you definitely have the ability to just click a button and and the problem goes away if they don't yeah. uh listen uh, it's not a place for you to fight with anyone no. so um you don't, they don't have to like you don't have to prove that you're right it's your place yeah 
If you invite people into your home and you don't like them, you get them out of your home as well, right? You're not gonna like Absolutely. let them argue with you why they should be in your home and <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned like the and I I get you know I love like I I joke around a lot on my stream, but I I am very strict about very specific stuff, and mm -hmm. people showing up to my stream and telling and you know immediately giving me orders or 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 asking for for something immediately like I usually immediately tell them hey I want you to to imagine my stream as if you were coming to my home. And there's all I already have a bunch of guests. We're already having a good time here. So what is the first thing you do? You say hello. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I really try to instill that in my viewers that when they show up, um, I still read chat. You know, if if I couldn't read chat, that wouldn't be a problem. But if I'm reading chat and just someone show, shows up and they ask me like a personal question and it's the first thing they've ever said in my chat, I'm not letting that slide. I'm telling them, yeah. hey, first of all, I'm going to teach you manners because <laughs> they apply online too, basically yeah yeah i think it's like it's also like with your friends if you if you are good friends with somebody and that that person comes to your home often they will just you know go to your kitchen grab some drink out of your fridge and start pulling it and just start drinking it exactly. that's all right but if they're new and they do that that's weird exactly so if yeah. you've never seen that person, that person and they start pouring their own drink out of your fridge <laughs> what and I think that after all those steps, I feel like at this point, you also will have a pretty good idea of, you know, the regular, like the, the, the people that you love and, mm -hmm. and have a pretty good image of what community you want to grow, yeah. you know, the specific type of community that you want to grow. So you'll learn to know what, what, um, what behaviors not to accept in your chat and stuff like that. And, and in general, yeah. even, even on social media, I've had people who, who've been super nice on, in my Twitch chat and then on Twitter, they would, you know, talk bad about other streamers, tag those other streamers in what? like in my comments. And I've had to let them know, hey, I'm like, I don't talk. It's not TOS that's keeping me from talking bad from from other streamers. It's me as a person. I don't think that's yeah. cool to talk badly about other creators on stream or even off stream. And I had like to block a couple of uh, followers because of that. Yeah. And yeah, just assume that people are doing their best, you know? Yeah, it's 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 like, it's crazy. Their stream doesn't look good. It's probably because they are trying their best, but yeah. they're not as good as somebody else, and that's all right. They they might have to learn a little bit longer than you do, but it Absolutely. doesn't make them a bad person or a bad streamer or something like that. Absolutely, there's definitely like a, a you know like things like unsolicited advice. Which is mm -hmm. something that I'm absolutely against. I've had viewers be like, "Oh, I, I've told this, like I told this other streamer to listen to your advice, and they don't have their a good color scheme." And I'm like, "Did they ask you to help them though? <laughs> like, don't put my name in you annoying people all around Twitch, telling them my that's that's not good. That's not a good thing. I don't want that. You know, like I give you yeah. advice because you came to my YouTube channel, you came to my Twitch to ask me." Don't sometimes though people advice. ask you on advice and they don't want advice True. sometimes they're like what do you think of my youtube channel and like you look at it and you're like this is the worst thing i've ever seen <laughs> and then you, you tell them like oh you can improve this this and this and they're like okay and then they just i don't know they just just like a tiny little bit about it and then you yeah. look at the stream again and you're like and they're like how does it look now and you're just like it looks better i feel like um like uh there's a there's a big ego problem. Well, it doesn't fit in this, so I won't I won't rant about it too. But there's definitely like an ego of of setting the the expectations very high for everyone mm -hmm. who starts streaming. Yeah. Because but, you know they interact but, with people who are already in it, so they yeah. think, oh, that's what I, that's what I'm gonna you get when I start. You've been streaming for years, and yeah. you're thinking like, oh, I can do that in a week. That's yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Anyways. Like people, like people do, um, they go to university to learn to do something for four years. Like you don't expect to be able to do that thing without going to the university and just hop into a job like that either, right? Like you need to learn to become good at something. Absolutely. You don't expect to grab a guitar and be a master player and start your band tomorrow. Yeah, but I feel like the the in the list of things that you learn about yourself, some people learn that they're very emotional about their craft and mm -hmm. sometimes you know it leads to self-sabotage or inability yeah. to 
view themselves uh, with an objective mm -hmm. point of view, basically, or just, you know, not, ac not accepting criticism or constructive criticism. But uh, that's yeah. one of the things you have to learn. And, and I don't like telling people that baby streaming is not for you. I feel like streaming is for everyone, but you need to be real with yourself. Basically, yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Just like in, in this very video, you know, I point out my own flaws too. There, there, I have flaws, mm -hmm. like I'm not perfect or anything, but you need to recognize them and not deny them. All right, so yeah. um, number nine was community management. Um, and here, I think, we're going to stop at number 10, but what is number 10? Hmm. 